Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Scorpio. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what energy whoa we have for Scorpio. I think that's enough. Ooh, woman holding a coin. Would you look at that? We have door to romance. Woo la la, like it. Okay, what do we got? Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. All right. We have Cornucopia, and we have the Angel of Strength. Wow, Scorpio, this is huge. And we have the woman holding a coin. So romance chakras cornucopia and strength what <laughs> all right i like it we have two master numbers here 33 and 11 so you might have ascended masters that are helping you find your way right now you may um be experiencing some where your person is take it how it resonates uh, maybe some financial loss here. Ooh, we have some deception here with the Seven of Swords. Somebody maybe stepping out here or some type of deception of some kind. Somebody's ready just to give up on this. So tired of somebody draining their finances. Maybe deception of some sort here. We have you may be seeing this okay you may be seeing this because you are using your intuition with the high priestess here you may be mysterious you may even be um have some knowledge that you just know you don't know how you know you just know i feel like you're um you may even been having a message from your spirit guide that has alerted you to something. Somebody's not satisfied or having any wish fulfillment when it comes to something here. There's a Knight of Wands in reverse. This person's superficial. They are wearing a mask. They may be a very skilled liar. This is a person you need to be watching out for. This may be also concerning this zodiac sign for Scorpio. I had a message a while ago about turning around and catching somebody doing something you hadn't expected. Now, maybe acting like you're regular person, like your regular self around this person, but you're gonna pay attention, but they don't know you're paying attention. And you might just turn around unexpectedly and see what you need to see that spirit is wanting you to know, okay? Because this person is superficial, they're lying, and they are deceiving you, okay? So Scorpio, now whether this is a feminine or a masculine, it may have to do with romance, it may have to do with your wealth, it may have to do with jealousy of somebody that you like or that they know you like. They don't want you to go towards. Yeah, they don't want you to give that couple off to anyone else. They want to be bound to you. They may have toxic behaviors. They may have toxicity when it comes to you. They may be abusive. They could be trying to bind you with black magic. They could be a Capricorn. They could be all those things. Let's see, what else? Yeah, you're seeing this person in a different way with the hangman, different perspective seeing something maybe you weren't seeing before and maybe this is because you all of a sudden turn around and this person is not expecting it and you see something that you hadn't expected to see they may be a coward and they may be afraid that you're going to find something out here 
It may be a woman holding a coin. It might be your coin that they're holding and giving to someone else. They may be just taking your funds and putting it in someone else's bank account <laughs> to collect later. Let's see. Well, what is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, having the courage. You may even be royalty here. You may have Leo in your chart. Okay, you may have Earth. So you may have Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your chart. You may have air in your chart as well. Let's see here. Yeah, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You may, it looks like, I don't know, yeah. All the signs are here. All the signs are here, so. Somebody's finances aren't gonna do well. This is what this deception has to do with. They're gonna drain your your finances. Whatever financial setup you have, the, you're either going to lose a lot of money because you're with this person and they're receiving karma. So you are also going to receive the karma that they are experiencing if you are with somebody that is dealing with karma. So you end up taking on their karma. Yeah, there's no love here. No love here when it comes to this. Somebody's given up on this love. You see that? They're giving up. They're not pulling through. Usually when it's upright here, they're still moving forward despite all of the obstacles that are in their way. And in reverse, they are just giving up. They're not, they're not even going to push through. They're not even going to bother when it comes to this love. I feel like they know there's no love there or I feel like they're going to turn around and see what they need to see. Maybe when they turn around, they see this person giving them the finger, like, fuck off, you know, like that kind of attitude towards you. And you may not even know. So until you turn around and catch them. I also had, I'm going to tell you this as well. I'm not going to mention names, of course, but I will tell you it was one of my subscribers that I told many, many months ago, this energy, same energy to turn around somebody you're gonna see something spirit wants you to see she did that and she realized that the one person she thought she could trust the most her sister was actually with her boyfriend and so she got a very shocking surprise about the two of those two hooking up behind her back and this is some this is her family so i can only imagine the betrayal behind it and how she must have felt but it was something spirit made her click on my video and that was the message and that's what she did and that was what she saw so there's usually a reason now a you're not wanting to see this and maybe you're getting gaslit into believing that you're not worthy of it now you also it may have been too that this is something that was destined to be found out you don't deserve that kind of treatment you deserve better than that and you have somebody that will treat you better and that was the whole reason spirit wanted you to see yeah you weren't happy there was no love you're not happy you are very intuitive with the high priestess here I feel this is this chakras you have all your chakras open you may have needed to work on your second chakra it could be um, Archangel Ariel is helping you fix that chakra or open your chakra that may be blocked but there's cornucopia here there's gonna be a big surprise I feel a big ending here you just have to have the strength and the angels are sending the strength in what is this nine of cups in reverse yeah they're not happy they're not satisfied they're not getting wish fulfillment and i feel like 
this is huge to this person. This person does not like to feel like this. There's no, there's no commitment here with, this person is a false person. They may even be juggling you or this person is getting juggled by someone else, this person that has no love for them. I'm going to say this as well. You never know who you're dealing with when it comes to the spiritual realm. Certain people, just like we have a hierarchy here in the 3D on Earth, in the spiritual realm, they also have a hier hierarchy where they have royalty in the afterlife, okay? There are relatives that you may not know about that are did something in their 3d life that put them into being in the royal family when it comes to the um to being next to god and who god favors so yeah i feel like this person doesn't know who they're dealing with here now, whether this is your person they're dealing with, or if it's you they're dealing with, um, I kind of feel like it's your person, though. This person is getting drained of their finances by being with this person. There's no love here because they're failing to see something here. They are needing to see this perception here. And it's on the fence right now when it comes to offering a cup of love. They're yearning to be free, and this is when they'll get that perception at the end. So they're not seeing something yet, yet. But just because you turn around and don't see something right away, keep an eye on this person, because they're a false person. Now, if this is your person we're talking about here that's in this situation with deception, their finances being drained, there's no love, they're giving up on this love, and they're ready to throw in the towel when it comes to this person, your person still has to heal some type of love here when it comes to this, this perception of love. They need to heal. Maybe they feel they're not worthy. Maybe this person is making them feel less than, yeah. They don't want to give anybody love right now. They just want to be free of this person. And it may not be right away that they run into you. Yeah, they're looking for that wish fulfillment. And I feel like they're very generous and they want to give to somebody. But it's got to be the right person. And they may be getting some type of message. Maybe seeing something for themselves. They may even uh, have some type of epiphany here that they didn't see before. Yeah, and they're gonna eventually want to give an offer to you, I feel. You may already have your own money. You may be holding your own coin and you don't need this person's money. You're looking for romance. You're looking for happiness and um somebody that knows what they want has the courage to go after what they want they're looking for uh, abundance as well in the form of love yeah because they're getting they're going to find out they were betrayed here spirits trying to get them to come forward i feel like they're trying to say look you're meant to give that to someone else right now you're getting screwed over royally why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, it's the Knight of Wands type of um, action. Now, it's either your person is stepping out on this person that they don't really love and want to give up this love for or want to give end this love with, okay? Because there is a draining of their finances and some shady ass behavior here, okay? And they really want to be happy, uh, but they're not. They're really unhappy two times here. We got the sun and the ten of cups in reverse. This, you're at nine of cups here, but it's in reverse as well. So you may have been at nine at one point, but this person really is making you unhappy. So you're dumping out all nine of your cups here. 
They're, you may not have been able to adapt to this person because they are a false person. They are a liar. They deceive you. They are stepping out. They have this energy of here for a good time, not a long time. Now, whether they're coming forward to you like that, it's showing at the end here that somebody doesn't have strength here. And they want to confuse this emperor who is already healed, who wants to come forward and give you that cup, who wants to work with you and cooperate. Something that hasn't ended between the two of you. You're going to have to make a judgment call on this. And I feel like it's going to be up to you what you do when it comes to this emperor. Okay? Don't be worried or scared because you will find the strength to get through this. Yeah, the lover's here. <clears throat> when it comes to this love. Yeah, the emperor's in reverse right now because he is getting slammed He's getting betrayed, and he's in the reverse. He's upset, angry, uh, maybe even um, being possessive here. But, yeah, this love is being ten of swords here. He's upset about this. Yeah, somebody's not speaking some truth here. Ace of Swords in reverse. There's hostility, arguments, chaos, conflict. Yeah. So whoever this is, is going through it. And it looks like a lot of the signs are doing that. I've done a lot of readings today. Well, a few. And I'm finding that a lot of them are going through cycles here that are meant to end out. That are meant to end that haven't or will be soon lightning okay so sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany and it, this hasn't happened yet this person is trying to keep the strength when it comes to their finances something hasn't been revealed yet what's this seven of pentacles and seven of swords somebody's yeah, somebody is talking about moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This is girl talk. This is somebody that is talking to their girlfriends about stepping out on their person. Mirroring each other's self-image, relationship, reflecting our wounds on our wounds and introspecting and that is in reverse so this person isn't mirroring the other person they're not looking at their self image their relationship or how it will reflect on the other person what is this ace of cups in reverse they want to move they want to move on they're not ascending either because they're in that same um, and they won't ascend until they get rid of this person, I feel. Yeah, wedding rings in reverse. They may have been um, married to this person. They may be getting a divorce. It also could be somebody that um, was engaged and now they're calling off the wedding. They're not happy with this person. Yeah, somebody's transforming. And it says relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth i feel like this person's transforming after they realize this person's no good for them <laughs> yeah hammer sabotage rebuilding intro integration repetitive persistent working on it they may try to work on this but they are going to find out just how betrayed they were so when it comes to this love this emperor is really going to find out about this deception what's the two of pentacles here hand of cards yes yeah, somebody is maybe not showing their hand when it comes to you i feel like they may know of you they may not know who you are they this might be somebody you don't know this might be a new person i feel scorpio but you've seen them on maybe their channel maybe they're single 
camera. Reminiscing, perception, learn from the past, making memories, keepsake. So they may see you as a keeper. They may see you as marriage material. Their perception of you, um, they're learning from their past. And I feel like they're maybe recognizing the differences here about love and lust. And maybe even what is worth fighting for. Their perception's changing, I feel, here. What's the Six of Pentacles? Twin Flame. So this is a false twin flame to this person. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focus out. So they're not focused on this person. And I feel like somebody's watching and stalking. Somebody might even get caught watching someone else's social media that isn't this person. Okay? And that might be where they end up telling some truth here to upset this person. Or no, they see, they see it. Finally turn around and see it. They see what they needed to see. Okay, okay, I see. Cupid's arrow hits and it's in reverse. This person wants to be free. Devil card, this is toxic. I feel like this person, there is no love here when it comes to this person. Arrow is not hitting this person. Whoa. Yeah, they're not transforming at all because they're with this person. What's the hanged man? They're seeing the deception now. Oh, <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Love calls. So, Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know, and that is in reverse. So somebody might be calling their person. That might be how they find out. I like you, and it's in reverse. So Rama, romance is blooming, and this is in reverse. So none of these things are happening for this person. The golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist this person is not a narcissist this masculine and guess what the relationship is over no second chances growing and transforming your life the grim reaper they totally end out this cycle they finally get the courage here and they finally learn the truth ah and look at that they get their Ten of Pentacles for moving away from this person. I feel like as soon as they do, their their pentacles are going to um, increase once they, they get rid of this person. They learn the truth. And I think this is the biggest situation that this person needs to deal with right now is learning the truth and doing something about it in order to make their way to you. I feel like this may not be right away. Let us see when this does happen. We have 11 weeks, 11 months, 11 days. And on the bottom of the deck is the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out, coming things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. And that's in reverse. So right at this moment, they do not know. So they could be anywhere in this story here. And I feel like they're not going to show their hand of what they're actually going to do. They're going to pretend, pretend all the way up until they actually end it. So, and it's gonna be a bit of a shock to either your person or the person they're with. Could even be you. It depends how this fits into your story here. So it could be 11 days, 11 months. What else do we got here? Four. So between four and 11 days, four to 11 weeks, four to 11 months. I don't think it's gonna be years. There was Pisces, Taurus, Sag, Pisces again. So you may have it in your chart and Aquarius here. So, or they may have more than one planet in their 
Aquarius or Libra or whatever it was. Pisces. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my next reading for Scorpio. Hopefully we'll have more to of an ending here and a new beginning for you, Scorpio, where this person is getting through and starting to come forward. It may take a few months, so 11 weeks possibly before you actually meet this person or maybe you meet them and then you, maybe they go home and then they come back for you months later. So you'll know what your story is. Um, as it comes in, I'm hoping that things work out for you, Scorpio, because at this point, you are not sure of what's going on in your life. You have not found out the truth just yet. But <clears throat> this is where that message is, is be unexpected, unpredictable, and maybe turn around and have a look and see what's going on behind your back there, because I feel like you're going to find something out that Spirit really wants you to know. All right, guys, take care, stay blessed, give me that thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe, and we will see you all next, next time. All right, later.